All right, so today we're going to change it up. Damien is going to be facing the other way. There's no camera, but whatever. Today we're going to talk about one of the most important or one of the most difficult part of the process of learning how to wing foil, which is how to get up on foil. So if that is where you are stuck, you're going to want to watch this video. Let's get into it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got an exciting one for you today. First, thank you all so much for being here, liking and subscribing and always just being there and supporting us and leaving your comments. We really appreciate it. Today, it's an awesome one. We have a onboard video series where we take you through and we really in depth from our voice on actual action so you can really take in what's happening. Uh, versus just watching it from afar. You, we really explain it as we go through it. So it's an onboard video series that we're doing uh, that Gwen came up with. It's brilliant. It's amazing. So today we're going to go over, which is the hardest part about wing foiling, and that is actually getting your board to unstick and get foiling. That is the hardest part for everybody in that learning process. Once you get your balance, you can kind of tack back and forth. In this video, we are going to cover getting up, on foil, all the tips and tricks, everything we can give you guys. What's uh, very, very awesome today is again, we have Kelly. You have seen her in some of our past video. We kind of documented her progression wing foiling. She has been now wing foiling for less than a year and she's gonna help you guys uh, giving you some tips on how to get up on foil. So let's get on the water and let's get up on foil. Let's do it. So. I'm angled more into the wind, and then as I start to put a little pressure into that wing, that board starts to increase the power, and if I don't have it, I go back into the wind again. And the reason why is, it always keeps me kind of going upwind. So I'm driving my back foot, and I'm turning that board into the wind. Now at the same time, I'm just adding pressure into the wing when I need it to keep myself nice and balanced and I'm waiting and looking up wind for the right wind. Now I see a puff coming and I'm gonna feel it in my wing and here it comes. So now board's angled, I got a lot of leverage in the wing. I'm gonna slowly give it a few pumps and we'll see if we can get a little lift off here. So the goal in lift off is I'm trying to get my speed up and then I'm gonna put a little more pressure on my back leg to have that board unstick. So. I'm going to do a little bit of pumps and, and all of a sudden that board starts to come up. Now something super important is if I end up going downwind, I lose all the power. So if I steal that board more into the wind, all of a sudden the wind gets more powerful and also the, the, the board will want to lift up more when I go upwind, but it generates more wing, wind and more power. Now, it's very important when you're riding to know where that wind's coming from because if I go crack off downwind, I lose power in the sail and I don't have that leverage. So another important tip is to just be nice and steady, relax, breathe. You let, let the wind kind of fluctuate around because it's going to oscillate, it's going to turn and you wanna just let it do its thing. So, we're gonna turn around. Okay, so now we're gonna just switch our feet. Now, same thing, all I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna wait for that wind. I'm looking up wind, I'm nice and balanced on the board. Now, how to learn the balance truthfully is there's nothing wrong with coming out no wind on a day like today and just learning the skill to be able to go upwind. I just went upwind on my spot 100%, but I also can go upwind by just tacking the board and using that back foot pressure and using the leverage to turn the board against the wind, sheeting the wing out at the same time to get leverage to be able to do this and, and stay upwind and not always just go downwind. So, this is definitely something that you want to work on. Slightly going upwind. I feel, I feel a good, good gust. So I'm going to go downwind to pick up some speed and make sure I keep the board flat. I feel like I'm up on foil 
And now, again, I keep the board flat and I go back to slightly upwind. All of the movement to keep the board on foil is in my hip, forward and back. If I go back, I go up. My, if I move my hip forward, I go down. Let's try again. I'm gonna relax my upper body and feel for that wind. As soon as I feel a little gust, I'm gonna give it some pump. I feel that front lift up, so now my hips shift forward. And I'm a little more evenly balanced over my front and my back foot. And if I feel it kind of coming up, I just ever so slightly with my hips, move my hips like this, right? Move them forward and it puts the front end down. So when I want to come up on foil, my hips are back a little bit. And as soon as I come up, my hips slightly shift forward and I'm standing up a little straighter now. There we go. All right, while I'm trying to turn here, just wanna go ahead and point out that I got invited to come wing today, this morning before work. I was like, heck yeah, it was so cool and fun. I was like, this is gonna be great. And then, turns out, Damo and Gwen had an ulterior motive. They really just needed me for a video. And there is a gust, so now I can slightly small pump with the wing, go slightly downwind, it starts to lift. I need to make sure I apply pressure on my front foot to keep the board flat. Boom, I'm lifting, I keep the board flat, and now I go right away, I go upwind, slightly. I don't want to go downwind, downwind is not very stable. So it's, I can move my feet slightly forward, slightly back, but the goal is to keep the burn pretty much flat, even if it's above the water. Not, I don't want the burn to like lift so quickly that the bird just like come out of the water too, too much of an angle because that's gonna slow down, that's gonna slow me down. All right, let's try again. So I'm angled into the wind, I'm ready to foil. So I, I get really nice and balanced, I'm bent over, I'm waiting for the tension in my wing. Once I feel a good little puff, I'm gonna just increase my backhand pressure and see as that board starts to get pulled around downwind, it'll generate power. So I'm waiting for the power in the wing, I feel a little bit of power, I'm gonna slowly give a little bit more in my backhand it's not enough, so go back into the wind and wait until you get the power. If you don't have power, folks, you're not gonna be riding, especially when you're learning, because in light winds, one, the water's flatter, but it's harder to get up and go. So technically, this is when everybody's learning, so it's harder. It's even harder than when it's windier. So now, I feel a puff, I, I look up wind, I see, you know, there's a dark line or water line that's darker, that means there's wind coming. So I get ready, I move my handle back, my arms are up high, I feel the power. So I'm gonna let that wing turn, turn the board, speed comes up, a little bit of a puff in the back. I feel the foil releasing right away, I let a little power out. Now remember, if I need a little more, I get edge into the wind, it creates more power in the wing, creates more power against my foil. Now I always wanna ride, not necessarily, directly straight over the foil. I wanna be a little bit at an angle. So wherever that mast is, you're in line with the mast. So if that is angled like this, I'm angled like this. And the reason why is because it creates leverage versus you falling over or falling backwards. It's a very important thing. So we're gonna make a turn and we're gonna go the other direction. So, and then the hardest part in foiling right here will be switching your feet, which is definitely a tricky part, which in reality is I ride a little downwind to get my speed up, feeling comfortable, I'm in a good position. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edge the board into the wind and it's a really quick pull tension on your back hand, pull tension in your back hand and you switch from front foot to back foot. Now, know that when you're riding on foil, 
your legs are bent, just know that I can pull in with my backhand from our power, but it also bends me more downwind. Know that I also can get more power by turning the board into the wind. That generates more power against the wing. So there's two ways to generate power and there's two ways to lose power. I can either go downwind, lose power, or I sheet out with my backhand and I lose power. Both ways where you can lose power, but know that I can generate power by going into the wind or I can pull. So, those are some of the best tips and feelings that I have when I go. Now, when it comes to the pumping, now I'm nice and low, I'm nice and low, but I'm angled and I'm pushing into the wind. And the reason why, so that I have leverage against the wing, leverage against the board. I'm not falling over the front of it and I'm not straight legged. So now, all I'm doing is waiting for good pressure in this wing to know that I can pull in and it's gonna pull me around the corner and give me power to maybe stand up. <clears throat> so, there's two ways to get that. I either pull the wing in, it's only so much, or I can create these movements which generate a little bit more power with the wing by keeping it high and I kinda can pump and I can learn how to pump. And then as you get better, you're gonna learn how to make this wing work for you instead of work against you when you're learning, which is the hardest part. So, I don't feel much wind right now, so what I'm trying to do is I wanna learn how to pump this wing. So, it's kinda of more of a circular motion, but it's also your backhand gripping and giving you that thrust so that when I pull in, I can actually scoot that board forward to generate power. So here comes a puff, I feel it. I pull in on the back, I start to increase my speed, but it's not enough. So I try to get a pump, and it just, with the board, I just kinda, I, I think of like you're trying to pump or you're trying to jump your board is that release off the water. It's like a, a release off the water. So you're trying to like, you're kinda trying to go from weight forward to back and it'll release that board. Now no, when all that releases, all of a sudden you're like, whoa, I'm going. So you gotta make sure that when it releases, right away I either sheet out or I edge the board a little into the wind so I'm nice and balanced, I got leverage against the foil. All very important things, especially when the wind is very light and it's hard to get going. So, Was that well, I mean, amazing? I had so much fun. Holy. The thing about coming up on foil. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right, we hope that this was helpful. If there is um, anything that, you know, maybe didn't like stick with you guys, like one, I would say, you know, maybe watch it a few times. The other thing I would say is like, watch it, go in the water and go back and watch it again. Um, because, you know, sometimes we just like get things as we are doing things. So it's, it's good to like, you know, get in the water and then think about it again, get in the water. And if you can also have somebody that can film you, that, that's also um, very helpful. Uh, but the key thing, again, is time on the water. You know, we cannot say that enough. You have to put in the time. We know that it's, very, uh, it's a very difficult sport to learn and we always try to give you all of the tips uh, that we can think of and, and all of the problems that we, we run into, we, we share the solution that we, you know, we have. But something that we cannot do for you guys is that you have to spend the time on the water and that is key. Yeah, I mean, 100%. It's, it's, um, I always go back to an analogy real quick and that's, if you go skiing and you only go on one ski trip a year, you're only gonna be so good at skiing. So time and effort putting into this and, and the best thing Gwen said there was sleep on it. It's always like sometimes like, things come clear on what you may were doing. And a lot of times the video, if somebody can video it, like you said, is spot on because you may think you're like, I'm right here. And you'll look at the video and you were like, Raw! Yeah. and yeah. it's way off. So feeling and actual is different. So any type of help, but the best thing you can do is just put time into it and just keep, you know, just go over and over and over and you will get this 100%. And uh, we're gonna, we have more of these onboard video series coming. We think it's unique. We think it's very informative. So we're gonna keep it coming and feel free to leave in the comments and description anything you wanna learn or if we can help you with some other videos, we'll, we'll do our best to make them. And then, um, yeah, and on that note, 
we're gonna leave you with a positive message. Positive. From, <laughs> from the man himself. From the most positive man on the planet. <laughs> Get negative. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so today, I think this would be a good one to cover, but look, everybody, you know, goes through hard jobs and you have a hard job and it's a job, that's why they call it a job. Some of your jobs aren't that fun. Um, but it's always good to remember that all the people that surround you in your workplace, you can make it a better place. So whether it's writing a note or showing up and just saying thanks or talking to somebody or writing a nice little letter or maybe buying them their favorite chips or their drink or surprise them with coffee, whatever it may be, those little gestures go a long ways and people remember that in life. And I think, you know, little written notes and things, I know it sounds a little cliche, but it's like, you know, right now it's like a text or a quick phone call and they gotta be there. And it's like, in reality, what happened to those little gestures of like bringing flowers to your loved one or just setting something on their desk or on their table or whatever it may be. But I think going back to kind of how that was in life, I feel like we should do our best to bring it back to people around you. And I think it'll go a long ways in just creating positivity. Yeah, and uh, take that positivity, bring it to the beach. If you see somebody struggling, go help them. If you see a beginner that's way downwind, I don't know, maybe ride their gear up wind, maybe help them carry their big bird because they're a beginner. Just be there. It's, I mean, it's easy with Gwen, I just like leave like a little screw on his, on his like seat and he's like, oh my gosh, it's like, that's it. That's how you, you just, anything wing foil, like a little piece of Dacron. <laughs> So that's it guys, we hope that this video was helpful, stay tuned, make sure you are subscribed so you see all of the next videos coming up and uh, we will see you guys next week. Yeah.